Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Honey, coming at y'all with another banger. In today's video, we're not, we not wasting no more time. We're just going to get straight into the video. I'm going to teach y'all the new workaround for the Save Wizard DMO outfits after the Christmas DLC. First thing you're going to want to do is download the right save from the description. If you're making your own outfits, download the one that says the custom outfits. You know what I'm saying? Download that one. From there, open up your save editor. You're going to open up the file. And all you're going to want to do is go and make your own outfits. It will have 10, 20 different slots. As you can see, it's 20 different slots for outfits. Go through. You can fill up each and every single one of them. The only thing that you got to make sure you do is put the stocking mask on. That's the only thing you got to do is make sure you put the stocking mask on and you will be able to bring any custom outfits online. Now, I'm going to have a save in the description. There's two saves, one for male and female. And then there's going to be another two for custom outfits. If you want to make your own, there'll be blank saves. But if you don't want to make your own outfits, there's going to be two saves, one for male, one for female that have 10 pre-made outfits that already have the stocking mask on that I made. So you could download those and you could go ahead and go straight to the glitch. You don't even need save editor. But that's all you got to do in save editor. After you're done editing all the outfits, just hit save file. From there, you could load into story mode, open up the phone, and create a save. This is if you don't have the Franklin and Lamar 1.6. A lot of people ask how they get it. This is how you get it. After you get the save, just go ahead, plug your USB in, go over to your settings, application, save data management, save data and system storage, copy, the over, copy over the USB. You're just going to go ahead and copy the Franklin and Lamar 1.6 to your USB. Now, after you do that, you're going to go ahead, plug your USB into your computer, open up Save Wizard. You're going to see the GTA file. Go ahead, click on it, and then you're going to right click, hit advanced mode. It's going to open up advanced mode. Once it, open up, once it opens up advanced mode, my fault, you're just going to hit the little button on the top right. If you hover over it, it will say import file. You're just going to hit that little button on the top right. And then from there, you're going to import whatever modded save you're using, whether it's for male, female, or the custom outfits, whichever one you're using, just go ahead and import that file and then hit apply. After you just go through, hit the OK and everything like that, and it starts actually like, you know, saving the save like this, you could just wait till it's done. And then from there, you can exit out of save wizard. You could plug your USB back into your PlayStation. So now you could go ahead, close Save Wizard, plug your USB into your PlayStation. You're just going to go to Save Data on USB Storage. And you're going to copy over the file that you just modded. Make sure you hit Apply to All. After that, there's one more thing you need to do. A lot of people say they're not getting a call from Lester. To get the call from Lester, go ahead, go to Storage, Save Data, and you're going to want to make sure you delete the GTA Auto Save. From there, you could go ahead and load up Story Mode. Once you load into story mode, all you're going to want to do is start up an invite only session. Once you load into this session, all you're going to want to do is make your way over towards a time trial, grab any vehicle, make sure you have no accessories on whatsoever, no accessories, and make sure your spawn location is at last location. From there, go to the time trial, start it, and then you're going to switch to Franklin. Now, once you load in, you won't be Franklin, you'll be Michael. You're going to get a call from Lester. As soon as the call actually connects and you see it says connected, then you're going to want to hit options and go to the Rockstar editor and start up director mode. When director mode starts, you're going to want to go to actors, online characters, hover over the player that you want the outfits on. From there, you could back out, go to shortlist actors and select any outfit that you want to bring online that has the stockings mask. Like I said, there's two saves in the descriptions that's got 10 outfits all with the stockings mask. So if you want those, go ahead, get them from the description or you can make your own with save editor. I showed you how to do that in the beginning. Just make sure you don't have any blacklisted items. Just look up GTA blacklisted items. 
That's basically just items that you can't bring online because they're not in the game or they're just blacklisted. But once you're ready, just hit X on the outfit you want and load into director mode. Once you load in, just open up your interaction menu and quit director mode. I'm sorry if you'll hear all the stuff in the back. Just quit director mode. If you get this alert, hit circle. From there, you'll be in story mode. Still have the outfit on. And from there, you could go into GTA Online. Now, once you're in line, you'll have the outfit. You could go save it. Everything will should 100% work if you don't have blacklisted items on. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Until the next banger, your boy Haunted is out. I appreciate you guys for showing love and happy Merry Christmas Eve. <laughs> I appreciate y'all though.